good morning and uh, welcome to uh, Gulliver's World in Warrington. Now I've actually wanted to come to this park for such a long time but obviously you'll see around as I'm walking around it's, it's a very children orientated park. Very much like we did uh, Gulliver's Land in Milton Keynes but we've managed to uh, to grab Kelsey again for the day. Hello, you alright? <laughs> uh, took us about two hours to get here. It's a bit cloudy but the sun's coming out and um, yeah, she should have a good day today. One of the main reasons for wanting to come here is to ride Antelope, the wooden coaster. Um, it's literally the last wooden coaster I need to get in the UK. Other After I've been on this, I've been on every wooden coaster in the UK. There's also four coaster credits here at the park. One of which I think I might have been on before, which is the Caterpillar the, that used to be at Camelot. So. We'll have a walk around, never been here before, but I'm quite excited. I do like these smaller family orientated parks, because you get more of an atmosphere, and if it's not as, wow, look at these bubbles. Wow. And if it's not as busy, we might be able to get on quite a lot of rides as well. I think there's a log flume, there's a map over here anyway. Wow, look at that. Uh, there's a log flume, there's a rapids, I think was new for last year. Uh, yeah, so you've got the uh, the, the rapids, antelope. Um, there's there's loads of stuff. Here's the entrance. I've just showed you that. You've got your splash zone next door. You've actually got this RAF Burton Wood, and it's free entry. Uh, you've got the Nerf zone there as well. There's the caterpillar. There's Costa Coffee all around. There seems to be quite a lot. If you look on Google Maps, it's built inside all these. Um, trees in the woods and stuff and it's actually built on the old site at the old RAF base of Burton Wood so yeah just uh, enjoy enjoy the day with us really I don't really know what to expect um, yeah <laughs> a bit of a show on here for the kids wow look at that really good I mean I've already been told by a few people that uh, antelope's not going to be um, that good but yeah, I'll see what it's like I do like me classic wooden coasters uh, so I'm not I'm not bothered if it's a bit rough or anything it'd be just to get on it I've, I've wanted the credit for years but obviously me and Lisa don't have our own children so we can't come unless we've got uh, uh, a niece with us which um, is not very regular that we get to spend the time with her uh, like other than rides and things I don't really know what's here but yeah <laughs> Bubbles. So uh, straight away, this is looking to be a really nice park. If I'm honest, it looks really nice. Um, built in, well, the first opened in 1989. Uh, the Antelope was opened in 95. Um, yeah, so it's based around obviously Gulliver's Travels which is the uh, the big giant really liking this little bridge over over this little pond lake thing there's a train over there yeah it looks very nice big lake in the middle here don't have to do shows on it or anything like that some more rides dotted around so there we are lilliput land yeah i really actually really like the uh, the gulliver's parks and after we've done this one We'll uh, see if we can get Kelsey again and we'll go to uh, Mat Matlock Bath, which is the last one we need to go to. And they're actually planning on building a new park. Um, if you Google it, it's, it's all on there. It's got to be a smaller, smaller version than these ones. So what's that? Dodgems? So you've got Dodgems and things. Oh, excellent. Old classic Dodgems. Old. <laughs> Very old. I don't think there's massive queues for the rides if, uh, by looking at some of the rides. It does look quite quiet, although we came into the car park and I'm like, oh my God, it's rammed. The car park's really busy, but like I said, the addition of the other bits to the park, uh, the splash zone and stuff as well. So there they'll be there. Oh, there's a Zampurla Disco ride over there. Yeah, so Jousting Dodgems. Uh, 
Uh, we just noticed Haunted Mansion. We're going to give that one a go. So I've just been on the classic uh, carousel. I've noticed that there was an upstairs to it as well. Uh, they look like they actually moved, but the bottom ones don't. Uh, I've just noticed the uh, the haunted mansion across. Uh, Lisa's just gone round through herself because Kelsey doesn't like um, scary things like this. So I'll have a walk around myself and see what's in here. Oh God, it's pitch black in here. Can't see now. Oh, oh my God. Oh, there we are. <laughs> oh. Stuff behind glass. <laughs> My little scary dolls. <laughs> oh, some stairs. Oh, 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 oh. Well, the stairs, oh, it's nice in here, bit of theming. Yeah, like I was saying in many, many vlogs before, obviously if you've got small children, bring them to these smaller parks, because you can see the quiet, you know. It's a shame, really, but uh, yeah, it's nice to get a, a vlog from here. I think this is the right way, I can't see, oh there. Yeah, it's lit up quite well in here. Some UV paint. That's yeah, not really scary at all. Oh God, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Again, I like these really old sort of places as well. It sort of reminds me of uh, parks that I used to go to as a kid. They got a lot of charm to them as well. So yeah, it's quite uh, <laughs> it's quite odd. Like little small dolls. There's the exit. Oh it's a balcony. So we're looking at pleasant dreams. See, some of them don't move. I quite like it. It's, it's it's different. You know, I like stuff that's different. Mind your step. Oh yeah, it goes up. Mind your step. Oh god, it's all all the uneven flooring. It's like a little funhouse. With a few of moving animatronics and glowing lights. Welcome, Dungeoneers. Going to the dungeon by the looks of it. Vacancies. Go down some more steps here. That audio's a bit loud. I think this is the exit. <laughs> Yeah, this is the end. Right, so we've come out of the uh, haunted mansion. Just noticed through this gap, there's a thing that we've come for, antelope. In-house built as well. Um, like I was saying earlier, they are planning on building another Gulliver's Park in the UK. I can't remember particularly where it is, but they're having uh, a clone of antelope. I see it going round in the minute. Well, yeah, this is what I've come for. It's quite nice round here. I like it. I do. It's 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 different. There's a little bumper boat ride there. Doesn't look like that's operating. There's your Zamperla disco type ride over there. It looks all right. Some of the wood looks like it's been replaced in places. 
uh, on board photos. Oh, there's a big queue for it. Oh, look at the station building. That's really smart, is that? Yeah, I like it. Antelope. She's 140 centimetres. Yeah, antelope. The antelope. Are you tall enough? Right, yeah. yeah, she's tall Not enough. On Not on her own. But yeah, let's go. Looks like it's uh, either waiting to be filled up or I don't know. We'll see, uh, see what we get on there. Antelope. Not walk on. we go final wooden coaster I need to ride in the UK and it's actually my 208th 80th roller coaster <laughs> nice views of the park up here here we go final wooden coaster Nice little drop on that. Whee! Oh! <laughs> yeah. Did you? Eh? <laughs> it's for, it's Kelsey's first wooden coaster. Oh, here's yeah. Oh, that. Yeah, lovely that. Here comes a nice little uh, bunny hop. Good girl. Nice little bank banking on this here. Oh, double drop. Through the trees. Woo! I don't know, but anyone that says this is rough, don't listen to them. Because it's actually fairly smooth. I know it's wobbling a little bit, but it's an old coaster. Woo! Do you know what? I really enjoyed that. I think that was really good. Great little uh, kids coaster, that. That was ace. Do you know what? I actually really enjoyed that. Um, don't listen to what people say. I know a lot of people have said it's really rough. I mean, obviously on the back row, it might be a, a completely different story, but you know what? I actually think that was really good. Um, yeah, some of the transitions are a bit odd, but it's, it's great. It's a nice little layout. It's got the bunny, bunny hop here. It's got the double down at the back and the, yeah, I really enjoyed that. I didn't think it was rough at all. If anything, it was, it was fairly smooth for a coaster that was built in 1995 as well uh, a year before Megaphobia which was 1996 but yeah brilliant I don't, know, I don't think there'd be any merch for it but there's your photos up there as well but yeah I love that so we've just come off Antelope uh, there's a few other rides around here a uh, little car ride the uh, Caterpillar or I think it's called, yeah, the Wriggler is just in that direction. So we're just walking towards the end of the park, really, uh, and then sort of work our way back. But you know what, if I'm honest, I actually really enjoyed the um, the antelope. I've, look, I've been looking forward to that for so long, and so many people have told me that it's, it's rough, but it, I really didn't think it was rough at all. I really didn't. I thought it was actually fairly smooth in places. We've got rapids, so I've been told. Oh, look at it round here, though. It's a nice little park, is this. Again, it's the, the charming, you know, the something different. Yes, it's a bit old and tired in places, but, you know, it's it's not a Merlin park. It's it's just their own thing. But like I said, there are three of them. Uh, so Milton Keynes, Matlock Bath, 
and uh, and this one here in Warrington, crazy barrel ride. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Take up, we do skate up. Nah, we'll do them in a bit. I'll finish off me. Uh, yeah, they make me feel sick as well. Uh, it's really nice round here, like an old Western style theming. Oh, look at it, it's lovely. I don't know where the car ride is. Yeah. Oh, is it here? Oh, here we are. Yeah, so this is the new ride. I think it was new for last year, I think. But uh, yeah, it's really good. It's like um, it's like a Revitron, traveling rapids, but they've themed it up really well. It looks really nice. And there's a bit of a, like, a kids play park around the top as well. I actually really like it here, I really do. It's different, yeah. The theme on that's amazing. You've got the nice sign there. It's, yeah, even like the supports are themed and everything. It looks great. So yeah, Apache Falls. There's a bit of water down here. It's like you might get a bit wet. There we go. Well, it looks like you might get a bit wet. <laughs> Right, so we're nearly there, um, just in the queue line, it's, it's, it's quite busy actually. I mean obviously not as busy as some of the major parks, I mean you could be waiting hours to get on something like this. But the, uh, yeah, some people are coming off soaking wet, some people are not too bad. I'm trying to figure out how many boats are on it, there's one coming down now. It's a good little layout on it. So there's only two people on that one. There's no one going up. I think there's only three boats on the whole entire circuit. Which uh, doesn't really help with the three puts, but never mind. We'll be on in a minute. Are you looking forward to getting wet, Kelsey? No. No. <laughs> Lisa will get wet because she always gets wet. Yeah. Yeah, I waited about 20 minutes for that. But it's a, a warm day, so you about expect the water rides to be uh, to be busy. Here we go. Hold on. Hold on to the uh, wooden... Oh, my no, my bum's got wet already. <laughs> Everyone's bum's got wet. What do you expect? <laughs> Wetter than Valhalla. Whoa! Oh, he's got to eat you, that vulture. I tell you what, the theme into this ride's amazing. I think it's a... I think it's a Revitron, I'm not sure. Good little layout to it. Oh yeah, watch your feet at the bottom. Bags on ride. Ow. This first bit here looks uh, looks crazy. It's just like uh, like a like a plastic. T oh my god! Oh, oh. my knee on this thing here as well. Oh, oh my back is coming oh, under the floor. Lisa's oh, oh, got a wet bum. And that's it. Oh, I'm soaked. That was a really, are you a, yeah, I think we, I think we all got a bit then. Oh my God, I'm dripping. Yeah, 
Apache 4 was great. I mean, I got absolutely soaked, as you probably saw from the footage then. As I hit the side, the water come over the top. I got completely drenched. I just spent about five minutes there just drying myself off and wiping everything down, cleaning my glasses. My glasses were all soaked as well. Um, yeah, I think we'll be looking for something to eat in a minute. But I actually really like this park. It's, it's quite nice. Built in within the trees and the lakes and stuff. Uh, there's a bit of theming around. There's loads of little shops. There wasn't anything else in this section as rides go. There was the barrels just up that way, but we might give them a, a miss. Apparently they were really good ones though, according to uh, Rob of uh, Coastosaurus. He likes his spinning rides. So yeah, uh, Billy Bob's biplanes. Oh, they go. I think they're going on this one. Billy Bob's biplanes. Awesome, no, but I really like it. It's got a nice little feel to the place. I love the fact that it is built in within the trees as well. So as another ride, uh, we'll go on. Oh, yay! Yeah, so we just come off the little planes. There's a the fire engine ride. It doesn't look like that's operating and. I'm afraid, uh, but I've just noticed this over here from on the ride. Uh, find out more. Why not call into the RAF Burton Wood Heritage Centre, the largest base in Europe? It's like a little uh, Berlin airlift, 1948-1949. Just like a little RAF camp yeah. and some aeroplanes and all sorts of stuff over there. Right, let's check out this little uh, car ride with uh, the queue of about two people in it. The vet cars. I don't think the onboard audio is working. We've got Kelsey driving in the front. Is that it? Oh, that's a really small circuit. Yeah, look, you've got the uh, Spitfires and uh, Mustang and stuff up there. Might have a little walk around that. Is that it? Oh. The two light special. Yay! Two light special. So we're in like the, uh, the little RAF base, little base, American Red Cross. I think it was a, I think it was a combined um, RAF and uh, American as well. Oh God, it's like a proper museum in here. things to read and uh, stuff to look at. RF Burton Wood Nostalgia Festival. Uh, 15th sep uh, to the 16th of September 2018. Oh, it's just like a little museum. Yeah, I don't think the girls will be interested in coming in here. Oh, wow. All the models. Oh, there they are. They are in here. Oh wow, look at Yeah, there's models in it. Airfix models. Oh look. Victor. I had one of them. No, is there really? It's not running. Look at the models. Oh awesome. So again, yeah, not only is it a theme park, it's a it's a little museum as well. 
Okay. It says please this way. Loads of stuff to see. Oh god, yeah, it's a proper museum, like a little tea room. If only our machine was working. Oh, he's got no tea to drink. <laughs> oh no. Oh, there's loads of stuff here to see. All playing up there. There was another entrance over there actually when we drove into the car park. They said it was free entry. Yeah. Get yourself to Gulliver's. Loads to see and do here. So we've just come down this path here. Um, there's a, like a little maze thing over there. Uh, tea cups and a, a drop tower here. Oh yeah, it's lovely. Look at the uh, flowers and the planting around here. And then you've got the lake again, back towards the entrance of the park, which is literally just over there. Uh, there's a few of the rides at the back we'll check out in a minute. There's Kelsey, oh, we'll have to wait for this. So we're going on the Joker. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Very comfortable seats actually on here. Oh my god! Hands up, hands up. It's making you hot. It's making me itch inside. Oh, is it? It's giving me a funny stomach sensation. <laughs> It's brilliant. <laughs> Pretty much walk on ride. Oh my god. Whee! Just want to point out oh, it is a Sunday today as well. Excellent. Well, I'll do that again in a bit, eh? Good ride. I am not going on that again. Oh, drop tower was pretty good actually. Uh, Lilliput Castle now we're walking through. We're on the hunt for something to eat. Uh, if you remember, if you are a long time viewer of the channel, uh, you, you know that we actually did do Gulliver's Land in Milton Keynes. It was over two years ago now. It's literally one of the first uh, vlogs that I actually did for the channel. Uh, there was a pizza pasta place there and that was actually really nice. But um, I don't think there's actually any maps for the park other than the one that's on the the actual app itself on the website so I don't know where the uh, restaurants and things are but yeah it's it's a, it's a nice little park actually I, I actually like it and as I was saying before about the antelope some of the wood actually looks fairly new it, it, it was it wasn't as bad as what people have been saying it really wasn't I really enjoyed it and I'm looking forward to getting back on it again it's a good little layout to it the first drop's not too bad either. Yeah, we're on a hunt for something to eat. Oh, we found some here. So we did find somewhere to eat. We went in this little, small uh, fish and chip shop. And you know what? It wasn't actually that bad. I was going to show you what I had, but you probably all think, oh God, that's disgusting. I had a cheese and onion pasty or pie. Um, with beans and gravy and it was actually all right one ride we've noticed here is the battle boats um, in this little pond here it's uh, it's not operating unfortunately so that's one ride that's not working but yeah it's a nice little park actually I, I, I do like it it's got an old classic feel about it and it's quite busy you know He's got the antelope just over there. The sun's coming out now, which is great. It is a bit uh, a bit hot and muggy though. It's 23 degrees today. Looking at me uh, fancy watch. Well, yeah, we've got to find somewhere else. There's another three coasters we need to get on. They've got the caterpillars down here somewhere. You've got like the pirate ship just here. Yeah, I hope you've been enjoying this vlog so far. It's something different, something that I've, I've wanted to come to for quite a while actually. That's the entrance for the pirate ship, that's the exit. So I need to go around here. Oh yeah, it's alright. It's 
because the sun's coming out now. Just looking at this view of the antelope, I think that looks pretty, pretty all right, if I'm honest. It looks all right. It's got a nice trees and shrubs around it. It, it looks brilliant. It, it does look like an old classic ride. And it is for the age it opened, but I just love the little station building to it. It's great. It's lovely. Get yourselves out here, especially if you've got kids. Um, we're speaking to quite a few little families here as well and we do mention it to other people and I'm not trying to put people off going to some of the bigger parks but you got little kids, the last thing they want to do is stand in queues all day and there's been people even queuing up for antelope going oh it's on half, half an hour, half, I mean half an hour's not really much at all um, and there was a guy in the queue line as well and he says uh, oh I can't believe it's made out of wood but uh, yeah, all classic uh, rides are made of wood. Some of the best ones as well. I think the caterpillar's down here. Well, yeah, I, I do like it here. It's got an old classic feel about the place. It's not as busy as the major parks. You get on more rides, all I'll say. Now that's got a big queue for the cars. And you got the, uh, the regular down here. Right now this caterpillar uh, wacky Worm, Big Apple, whatever you want to call it, uh, used to be at Camelot. So I'm not actually sure if I've already got the credit or not. Wriggler. I don't remember it. Well, I don't remember going on it. I remember it being at Camelot, but I don't remember going on it. It's still got the original apple to it as well. That's great. Nice little area around here. There's your gully... Uh, Gully's Grand Prix, the cars. Uh, on ride photos. Another little play park. Oh, it's brilliant. It's an old classic, this one. I'm gonna to have to look on the database to find out when this one opened. To do with the paint on the uh, the apple, though. But at least it's got it, and it's got a hole in the top. Yeah, I found it quite funny that Sean went to M and D's recently, and there uh, half the uh, half the apples missing. Two lap special. Two lap special. <laughs> I've just come through that door there and there's an indoor dart ride well it's indoors and it's yeah uh, you know what i mean <laughs> princess gilly the ride so we'll give this a go it's pretty much like the one that's at um milton keynes but it's like basically um the story of the uh, the gullivers itself and there's like a little boat ride just there as well so yeah we'll give uh, we'll give this one a go next i like the way that it's in like this tent inside it's quite nice yeah basic basically just the same as the uh, one that's at um, Gulliver's in uh, Milton Keynes I don't know if all the Gulliver's parks have these little track right here is what we here yeah right I'll see where we get on there well here we go I don't think you can see anything at the minute no can't GoPro's not very good at picking up dark dark and light but it's, it's just a lot of paintings 
with a uh, UV paint on at the minute. The shorts are blowing up. It's like a dragon there, I don't know if he's picking that up. The woodcutter's cottage. You're doing some audio in here. Yeah, that GoPro's not picking any of that up. There is some scenery and some theming in here, which is basically uh, UV paint on. A bit like that. <laughs> I think that's it. So next up we're going on Crazy Train, which is just situated right next to the Antelope. Right, now this is a, well, it says 2015 Pinfari uh, Mini Mega Coaster, and it was at a park called Condona's Amusement Park. I'll have to just click on that and show you. Uh, yeah, um, Crazy Train. Uh, 2003 so yeah it's not it's not a really old coaster oh there's a bit of a queue for this one crazy train See, we go on crazy train. So next to Kelsey on this one. Oh, bit of a jolt there. Oh my god, it's so loud. Here we go, and hold on. How was that, Kelsey? Good. You like that? It was fun, that one, wasn't it? Yeah, exactly the same layout as Python and uh, Mighty Mini Mega at uh, Adventure Island in South End. Good little uh, coaster, that. A crazy train it was pretty good actually it wasn't too bad just a typical pinfari it's got its little problems but nothing to worry about you know it's got the usual jolt on the lift hill like uh, they all seem to have uh, while we was up there we noticed this building here and we asked the staff member what it was Lisa did actually say oh I think it's a monorail it actually used to be a cycle monorail so yeah you got that there so we're sort of walking towards the other side of the park now Let's see what's down here, I don't really know. But it is 
it is a nice park i'm having an oh no, well, we're all having an all right day actually we've only got like an hour and a half left uh which a bit a bit gutted about really oh but there's an awful smell around here oh it stinks but yeah it's it's a nice part oh, it's from toilets that's why <laughs> um yeah it's a nice park there's a little boat ride it's very similar to the one that's at, um, at Milton Keynes it's got the same sort of style rides the little boat rides here we've got like the animals and things a little tractor ride uh, there's loads to see here it's a good day out for your family safari kinder I think they've gone this way I think the log flume's down here as well oh there's another uh, there's an, another maze like a fence maze that looks quite fun It speeds up a bit. <laughs> Woo! Oh! oh. <laughs> it's good around them corners. Whoa! <laughs> it's probably the strangest coaster I've ever been on. <laughs> I like the corners though. Whee! Crazy mouse. Yeah, it's a bit like a crazy mouse, yeah. I think that's the technical term for him. Oh my god. <laughs> you wanna go yeah Costa wants to go on the water slides. We've literally got an hour and an hour and five minutes left of the park and I really want to get on antelope again. Try the back row. Here we go. Woo! Well we've done the major coasters now, but there's loads of rides here. Like I said that you got the uh, water safari uh, ride there, there's like a shooting ride. There's a chair swing over there, and you've got your water slides as well, and uh, yeah, log flume as well to get on. Uh, and there's loads of rides we haven't been on today, but uh, that wasn't too bad, that. The mine train uh, wasn't too bad, yeah, the little Zamperla. Um, I think it was about a 2006 model, but it was actually removed from the park and uh, relocated to a different part of the park. Uh, it's obviously in this section now. Uh, we just walked over to the little dark ride with the um, random uh, Indiana Jones music that just keeps cutting for no reason. But yeah, it's basically a little shooting ride. Shoot the red targets. There we go. Jones the ride. Oh, it's dark in here. Where's it? Go on. You know what, I know it's a bit odd in places, but this is a real gem of a pl park. I was say uh, place then, but both, it's really good. Uh, we're walking over now to do this uh, Lost World section. I've just noticed there's a small observation tower over there. But uh, yeah, we've got to walk around here. Yeah, the uh, random indoor dart ride shooty thing was a bit, um, 
odd, but it's good. It's all right, kids. You know, that's what it's about, isn't it? Yeah, we've literally got just just over an hour left, or just under. Uh, having a good time, I think. Oh yeah, close ten past four now. I think we might have to come back actually, but it is a little gem of a park. It really is. There's loads to do. There's there's loads of rides we haven't been on, loads of stuff we haven't seen. Indoor seating area. We've got all these dinosaurs and animatronics and stuff. There's another little. There's a jeep ride down there. This is it's pretty much a full day park actually. There's loads of rides. Loads of dinosaurs and things in here. There's just loads to see. Goes on for miles down there, look at it. Oh, it's only a tiny little thing. I think you've got to walk around here. <laughs> nice stuff here, I've noticed. Yeah, they have a very random um, observation tower. You got your Lost World Jurassic Jeeps down there as well. And I'll tell you now, them dinosaurs definitely sound like Chewbacca. <laughs> Dinosaur stampede down there. I don't know what that is. Corrugated Yeah. Oh, it's nice up here. Oh, it's nice and cool. Yeah. Yeah, I'll listen to it. <laughs> it sounds like me in the morning. I don't know, is it still going up? Yeah, it's still going up. We're at the top now. Chewbacca. Here comes the train. I'm just saying to Lisa, I think there's a train here because you can see the tracks, but we couldn't see that we've not seen the train. Here it is. Right, it's coming towards the end of the day here. I uh, just wanted to point out the log flume is there, but there's a bit of a bit of a long queue for it. Uh, the park does close in about half an hour, and we want to get back on Antelope. Um, only had the one ride on it today. We want to go back round and at least get on the back row of it. But it's a really nice park. I can't I can't stress enough. Uh, yeah, it's a little tired and a bit outdated in places, but you get you seem to get that at some of the uh, well lesser known parks anyway but i really like it it's got a little charm to it it's got some nice little rides like i said it's a bit of a hidden gem of a place a lot of people wouldn't would completely bypass a place like this and and go straight to the bigger known parks but like i keep saying in, in previous vlogs and many vlogs before that get yourselves out to these lesser known family parks you have you know just a, just as much good time than you would at a bigger park so uh, yeah, going back over to the antelope now. There we go, back row of antelope. Lisa and Kelsey are just being on the, they went on the like the middle and they said it was rough. Now, <laughs> oh, you can hear my voice, it's a bit rattling. Oh, now everyone said to me, that this is one of the roughest coasters I've ever been on. So yeah, I didn't find the front that bad at all. So I'll just see what the uh, the back's like. <laughs> Here we go. Oh! oh yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. So you might have to hold on. <laughs> I tell you, I love a rough ride though. <laughs> it's still better than the uh, <laughs> the woodies at Blackpool. Here we go. Little bunny hill. Oh! 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> See what I ride on this, got on the front. <laughs> oh my god. There we go, double down. Watch your knees. Oh! <laughs> Woo nice little banking on this bit here. Into the final section. Here we go, hold on tight. Oh! <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, it's awesome! <laughs> it's not bad. It's not bad, it's just more fun than anything. I love that. That's brilliant. Get yourselves here, come and ride Antelope. Right, so my opinion of the back. Yeah, it's not the smoothest of rides. I wasn't expecting it to be, but it's probably the most fun I've had on a little coaster like this. It's brilliant. Yes, the front is definitely the best. <laughs> I, I, bashed me, I bashed me knee three or four times on it as well. It's brilliant. It's so much fun. If you like wooden coasters, if you like classic wooden coasters, get yourselves out to Gulliver's. Obviously, if you've got, you've got to have children with you as well. We've had a fantastic day. The park just closed in about five minutes. And Lisa's just got me one, well I've paid for it, but yeah, Lisa's just got me one of those because it's uh, still hot. How's your day been, Kelsey? Good. What have you, what's the best ride, do you reckon? You don't know? You're not in, no? You like the uh, wooden coaster? Yeah, it's all right. Here it comes again for its final uh, descent into the station. It's brilliant. <laughs> I really enjoyed that. Right, we're going to walk to the gate now and I'll give you a final review of the day. <laughs> right, that's it. Uh, we're walking out of the park now. Got myself another uh, Vimto slushy because it's, it's it's rather hot now. We're just talking to some of the managers and some of the staff and team about the place. And uh, yeah, I've actually really enjoyed it. Obviously, the highlight for me it's got to be uh, Antelope and just actually seeing the park as a whole. You know, in a brand new park, somewhere I've wanted to come for such a long time. And obviously, I think Kelsey's had a good day as well. Um, it's nice to bring her out. It's not very often that we get to bring her. Um, so it's very nice. It's been great. Thank you very much. Bye. It's a really nice park. I can't recommend it enough. Like I said, it, yeah, it's a bit old and a bit tired in places. But if you've got kids, they don't really mind. Bring your kids out here. It's brilliant. You have a great day. We've been on pretty much most of the major rides, bar a couple of the flat rides and things like that. Uh, we're going now. Um, I just want to say, oh, there's the entrance. Were you waving? Yeah, this is, there you are, she's on the telly now. Coaster's crazy, check me out. You'll be on, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I just want to say that the, um, the staff have been amazing. Obviously, you have seen the POVs I filmed. Um, I just want to say thank you for the park for letting me film on the rides. Um, that's been amazing. Um, it does say on the website, I did check before I came, that, you know, on ride filming, is completely banned but I have seen people with mobile phones and things like that so yeah it's just it's up to you but I wouldn't you know don't break the rules when you come to the parks I know I have done in the past but no I've got to do it right I've got to email the parks and make sure that I get it passed over they just check the uh, the GoPro harness and things like that so it was fine I did get a slip it's in my pocket it was a signed slip by the managers to say I had permission to film but yeah that's it we've had a really good day today and I want to just say yeah, see you later and bye for now.